Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am a Blu-ray Twin Flame in Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? So today I wanna to talk to you about the closure that some of this energy is bringing. And as you know, or may not know, during the retrograde energy, and especially as we've had several eclipses People are feeling this. Even people that aren't aware about Twin Flame stuff, they're feeling it. And that's misleading to some people because they don't understand how much it's going to really affect their body. People are being pulled up. They're being plunged down, feeling like they're dragging along in the water. And it's not a pleasant feeling. I know that everyone would like to hear like when this is going to be over. But actually, the way it works is it starts to smooth out when you actually work with your body. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about the heart and the eyes and closure. So closure is coming with this landscape, which is traditionally around August 8th, but it's actually gonna start up ahead of time. It is that way for people when they've reached a certain vibration, you'll begin to feel things ahead of time. That part is normal. Some of the symptoms you feel may not feel normal for you. And that is what I'm here to help. This is actually my specialty. I specialize in and I have prototyped and I have created a modality to make it easy for people to do these integrations because it really doesn't happen if you show up at every full moon and then think like, well, we're doing this worldwide thing. You have to do it individually for yourself. Part of the reason is that it has to get deep inside your body. That means to your organs. That's why I'm going to talk about some of the organs. It has to be customized for you and you have to be still be an individual within your unified self. And so does your twin flame. And this sort of belies the things that people say like, well, I'm doing this or we're exact perfect mirrors of each other. Yeah, you do mirror things, but you can get mirrors from all around you too. But the main thing is you have to focus on yourself and what you're going through. So at this time, what is very prominent is heart, heart issues, heart repairs, things that need to be addressed about the heart. And people that don't know how to let their emotions out wind up suffering from things such as congestive heart failure. It might take a while, but sometimes it happens. The main reason is, is you are not really designed to bottle up stuff or store it up or to hold space for someone. You cannot hold space. If they're going to do something negative, you have to let them. You have to let them fall on their face. You cannot do everything for your other half. That's number one. Number two, you have to think about your body because this includes things that may run in your family. It may include past lifestyles such as smoking and drinking or drugging or any combination of the above. It may include who you've been attached to, you know, how, how many relationships you've had. I mean, that's actually a factor. And you may say to yourself, well, God doesn't care. No, God wants you to be clean and clear. That means like without anybody else's energy muddling you up, polluting things, clear and purified once again. So what are some of the symptoms people can feel about heart? Well, you can feel things, believe it or not, in your urinary tract. You can feel things in your kidneys. You can feel things in um, other areas of your body where you might feel slight swelling or a tightness or you wake up and you're like, gosh, my joints are tight today. Well, is it too much salt or is it something having to do with something else? Do you have fluttering heart, racing heart? Does it feel like there's just this energy in there that's like fluttering, 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 and it just doesn't seem to go away? There's a reason for it, and there's also a supplement I recommend for it. Because I've put these recommendations in my books and in my webinars for people I help so that, you know, there's a bit of interaction there. We're doing questions, we're doing answers, feel safe, people can ask things. And we get beyond the usual um, things that people say, like, you know, why why isn't this person calling me? I mean, if we just take something as simple as that, hurts the feelings, it hurts, 
someone tries to get over it, they try to let it go, but what happens? That thing goes inside. It hurts here. It hurts right by the heart. It can't help but hurt. We are feeling beings. That is who we are. That's how we are. Racing heart. What happens if you have times where it feels like your heart is like a dunk, a dunk, a dunk, a dunk, a dunk, and yet it feels different than anxiety? That can put you in the danger zone. I've spoken to several people lately who are having such high blood pressure that it's alarming, and yet they're still alive. There's something, you know, happening to them. I myself went through it about a year ago. Now, some of these things, they do run in my family. Here's the key difference. Your soul doesn't want you to have to live like all the rest of your family lived. Your soul wants the new twin flame body to bridge this for you from the fifth dimension. That is how we live from 5D. It's bridged through your subtle bodies, of which there are several. There are several subtle bodies. You don't just have seven chakras, you have much more. And the areas for your heart are much more. Do you know that you have a back of the heart area that you have to not only pay attention to, but nurture? People who've been through backstabbing types of situations, they will know about this, but a lot of people don't. And they'll just think the heart chakra is somehow right here. And, you know, there's more to it than that. So racing heart, blood pressure issues, dropping of blood pressure. I had an issue when I went on a trip in 2017 where my blood pressure dropped so pre precipitously low, it had a distinct feel of I was not only dying, but I was bleeding out, that my blood was draining onto the pavement right then and there. It happened very suddenly. I knew if I took another step, I'd probably end up at the hospital. Now, it takes a lot of discernment to know and know what you should check medically. I do always recommend that people use that discernment, but I do also help people because I am an intuitive and I can help them get answers. And not only that, I am a master healer of the twin flame body because you may or may not know what your twin has been up to. And even if you do, you may not have known what has affected you from a past life. And I can tell you what some of that is. Environmental toxins, disease, addictions, short-lived lives, being crushed, all kinds of things. There's all kinds of things that I see. In fact, I had several people, like a whole slew of several months, where people were victims of the gas chambers in World War II. I've had times where people have been through drownings, massive drownings, like entire ships going down and recovering from this. So there are some very dire past life circumstances that will come up that makes you feel something that you may have no context for. And those are not only ascension symptoms, those are things that I help people deal with. Because we don't deal with it and learn how to cope and live with it. I remove it. We help remove this and so that like these things can't be attached to you and that I give you what to do in the next day. Eye issues. Eye issues. You need to close cosmic karma. What have you seen? What have you done? Who have you interacted with? Who's glared at you? Who has heckled you? Who has blinded you, any of this. Now, when it comes to eye issues, not everyone understands that you have vision. Now, people who are clairvoyant, they'll say, yeah, I know I've got vision. I have vision and I see things. You need to be able to see things even in other levels as well as see here. So what are some of the eye issues that come up? Blurry vision, tired eyes, dry eyes, things that affect the actual tissues of your body. And again, if there's addictions present, such as cigarette smoking, such as alcohol, this affects the optic nerve. So don't think that we're getting away with stuff and continuing to damage the parts of us and ascending. Your body's going to say, 
put the brakes on, pump the brakes. We got to stop you. We're going to have to address some of these things before you can get going here, before you can get higher. Now, the other part of the heart that a lot of people don't think about, although they will sometimes feel indigestion, is the upper gastro areas. Kidneys, eyes, liver, digestion. Have you had appetite fluctuations? Do you feel like you're eating for two? Do you feel fatigued? So I teach people in my books how to do a proper fast and I help you to get your new high heart integrations because those need to go in you in places that sometimes you would never even think of. Would you think of your eyes as being connected to the heart? Maybe, maybe not. A lot of people don't, but I know the ways of it. I know it. I have it mapped. I have chakra diagrams in my webinars. I have the interior parts, what's outside of you. And if you join my webinars, you get to see some of that stuff. Now, if you need help with these issues, heart, eyes, if you are pining away, one of the things that people don't realize is that a lot of misery, if you're waiting for someone and you feel like you're pining, that's going to have a huge toll on your heart. Let's get it moving for you because integrating your spirit subtle body. I do a spirit subtle body session. I recommend three of them for the three different levels to help you get that integrated because that is a vital part of you. That is the number one reason why people are having multiple symptoms. And some of the symptoms are becoming kind of confusing with what is COVID and what's an ascension symptom. What's COVID? Because the people who are studying COVID, they keep coming out with like, okay, now we get an expanded list. Some of those are ascension symptoms. I know this because I've gone through it. I know this because I know the difference between being sick with the physical body and going through ascension. I know it because I've written about it. And I know it because I've been helping people for 10 years, even before COVID, we knew about COVID or become a pandemic. So the things that you need help with, I know how to help with. That's my specialty. Yes, I can tell you a lot more. Your origins, your star seed origins, your angelic oranges, um, origins, your color ray, so many things. I love to have great conversations with people and I am very honored to be privy to people's love story. When they tell me their love story, the way it works for me is it's very simple. Things start opening up. I start feeling we get it moving because I don't believe people should dilly dally with this. We've waited long enough. It has taken several years to get the template ready and for some of the gate closures to happen. Ascension is here in earnest and the sooner that people really start getting with it and stop using their minds for it, the better off they're going to be. Even healthy people will go through ascension stuff. And the reason is, is because there, there are things that are just in different places. It doesn't mean you're unhealthy, but for people that are unhealthy or you have some kind of condition, be hopeful because I'm not here to take away your hope. I am here to get things moving. I am here to help you get in the mode of love. And least we forget, this is about love and romance because how can you have a good love and a great romance in a fantastic, mind-blowing, beyond-this-world love life if we're only focused on mental health? <laughs> Let's get going with where it really counts, where you want to feel this with your body. So um, I also have books, my book four. Twin Flame Ascension and Inner Healing. This is great to learn how to do a proper fast. If fasting is new to you, I have an outline in there. It's great. It is very good for people. It's good for most people. It. I talk about intermittent fasting, how to do this, herbal recommendations. And there are reasons for it because it helps speed things up for you. The next one, your new life. Are some of you believing that you can actually have a new life? Because yes, it's what you're here for. 
whatever happened up until the point that it was your twin flame awareness, that's all your past life. Your childhood is your past life. Your teenage years were your past life, unless you met as teenagers. Then your childhood sweethearts. But I talk in here about your new life and grid work, grid work and your new life. But this is a book, my book five has information about these other issues, upper gastro kidneys and why, because it is vitally important. There are things that I know that not even the medical community knows because I went through it and I had to write it and diagram it. One day I wanna talk about that in a, you know, to people so that there's sort of this bridge between the physical and the metaphysical. Right now, we are the privileged people who are experiencing some of this so that we can get healthy and you can be the living, breathing, vibrating, twin flamey example of it. Now, I've been hearing too out there that there's people that criticize people who aren't with their twin flame, but I'm gonna just throw this down. This is throwdown time. How many of those people actually talk about the metaphysical side of things? Because I really don't hear people talking about that. So I'm just gonna say this here. My path has been very different than most people you might see out there. I've had a path of highly metaphysical, not pretend, not imagine things that have happened. I've had miracle healings as a result. I've had miracle transformations transformations in my personal toxic relationships with my formerly toxic people that I've known to where it has transformed and done a complete 360. I have found abundance. I have risen up. I've actually gone through the dimensions several times. I know how to go out of body. And I've also had hours and hours of metaphysical love making, high sacred sexual that I do talk about and I will talk about in my upcoming webinar. If you're interested in sacred sexuality and what it is and what it isn't, because I can tell you this, it is not the dating game out there. It is not. It is so beyond that. And it's and it it's just it's almost indescribable, but yet I have found ways to describe it. It engages your subtle bodies like you can't even believe. You can't even believe how things, parts of you light up and become orgasmic. So if you've been concerned about how is it gonna be, how are we gonna sustain each other, please follow me because the only thing I've had to go by is my heart, right here, my heart. This is my other logo. That's one of them that I designed lightning bolt into and like get yourself transformed, put it together because love exists. You're made from love. And furthermore, there's more to come. You're here to experience it. So your heart is actually so important. You can't even believe it. Your heart has to be able to have connections to several places in order for you to do that. I've been through it. And so there it is. I'm not gonna put up with, you know, people somehow discrediting people who are not together. I will say this, I know for sure I did, I did wonder that myself. I said, well, why are these people popping up? But I said to myself, you know what? I'm here to help people that are doing this through their heart and who know beyond the shadow of a doubt, even when someone's with them or someone has disappeared, that they're here for love and we're doing it the heart way, not the mind way, not with like, you know, in fact, when I did my relationships webinar, you have to be able to use your new high connections to manage your relationships. You do. You have ways and ways that are built into you that you're equipped with that you just have to open up. So reach out, email me if you have questions, twinflamebody at gmail.com. Um, this is my proprietary modality that I have spent several years opening. It took me two years to get the channels open and up and running and you know be able to do it methodically. You won't take that much time, but you do have to do it. Thanks so much for watching and 
Remember, your heart is important. Bye.